Well, it's time for our weekly conversation in this week as we keep updated with Tigers really around the country right now during this suspension of play. We are pleased to be joined by Tigers pitcher Michael Fulmer. Michael, how are you? Where are you right now with with Kelsey and your son, Miles, who uh, just celebrated his first birthday? Yeah, we're uh, we're all still down here in Lakeland right now. Uh, I'm lucky to be able to get to go into the facility still, still trying to rehab and uh, throw some pins and, and get back to uh, – get back to baseball so yeah and you're really one of the few right because it's it's kind of been shut down for any any sizable groups but because you're rehabbing from tommy john you're allowed to go in yeah i think it's the whole uh medical rehab restriction um basically just me and and chang uh from spring training he can't go back home to taiwan so uh we're just in there every single day uh during the weekdays and and trying to trying to get a little baseball done so uh, tell me, uh, this has been, I mean, we, we kind of all take Tommy John's surgery for granted. That's, yeah, you just, you know, you pop that tendon in right in, in the elbow and everything's good to go and everybody comes back fine. But it can be a tedious process, can it? What, what's been the hardest part for you and uh, how do you feel it's been going in terms of getting back to, as you say, on the mound throwing bullpens? Yeah, it's been going well. Um, obviously, it's just the, the time frame, I think, is the, the, the biggest hurdle to get over. And, uh, you know, you hear 14, 16 months, it's it's a long time. You know, it's a season and a half. And last year was, was really a struggle uh, for myself. But, you know, I just uh, thanks to trainers and, and physical therapists and uh, strength coaches and all these guys that are, are down here with me right now to kind of devoting their time to, to help me get back into, into shape. Does it seem crazy that it's been a year? As I mentioned, Miles celebrated your boy, celebrated birthday number one. It had to be kind of fun to be there uh, for that. Yeah, me, uh, myself, and my son both celebrated our birthdays this spring and uh, under quarantine. So uh, not much we did, but uh, Miles still got some gifts and some cupcakes, and uh, we try to <laughs> do it up the best we could for his first birthday. I'm just kind of glad he didn't remember it or won't remember it for that matter. <laughs> Tell me uh, how you felt spring training was. I know, I mean, you obviously not participating in games, but you were able to be back with your guys again. That that had to be a good feeling. It was. It was good to see everybody again. Oh, you know, I've been I've been down in Lakeland since November, so um, I, I've seen I've, I've gotten to know Lakeland pretty well uh, for a long period of time now. But uh, just <laughs> to see everybody and and even the new teammates and coaches and staff, it's. Uh, it was good to kind of be back in the mix of everything. Uh, I think last year I went and visited the team twice, I think once in Detroit and once in Texas. So uh, just got to see him a, a little bit, but uh, it was nice getting over to, to see everybody again. What uh, what have you missed the most about about baseball and being able to get on the mound every five days? Uh, just that, I think, uh, just getting out in front of the fans and, and taking the bump uh, once every fifth day. But uh, you know, we're, we're working really hard down here and, you know, I'll, I'll be back sooner rather than later. And uh, I'm excited with all the work we've been putting in and trying to get myself uh, better, healthy and and uh, getting ready for a, a long career. Your surgery was at the end of March of last year. I remember at the time uh, I mm -hmm. saw you just a few days before that surgery. You were determined to be on the short end of the 12 to 16 months, 14 to 16 months. I, th I think you said uh where do you feel you are right now? I mean, if this was a regular season, what was your timetable? I mean, has that changed at all? What What are your thoughts on, on kind of where you are so that fans get a feel for when you might be back? Yeah, we're right on schedule. Uh, there has been no uh, setbacks because of this uh, whole quarantine thing, and um, everything's been going very, very smoothly. I'm, I'm very happy with where we're at right now, and I've been on the mound. I've been throwing bullpens. You know, I think uh, I am scheduled to face hitters here in uh, three weeks to a month. So yeah. that's uh, some exciting time. I just don't have any hitters to throw to. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a particular moment along the way uh, in your as you were rehabbing that you're like, because like you said, there's a long process that you're like, OK, as you were throwing. I remember you saying that you're cautious when you first start to throw where you're like, okay, this is good. It feels good. I, I know that I'm going to be able to get back on a mount at the major league level. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's still uh, stuff going through 
uh, my mind every single day, just how to try to get better and how to be more effortless uh, with my mechanics and, and more technical with what I need to do, especially lower body wise. Um, just trying to change a few things where I'm not putting so much pressure on my elbow anymore. So we're trying to get more power out of the hips and legs, uh, which we're doing a good job of and trying to limit the stress on the elbow. So it's uh, kind of me learning almost new mechanics, just trying to, to be a little bit more effortless and, and less stress on everything. I know that yeah, this has actually been good in the sense that it allows you to clean up some things with your mechanics, right? In terms of the, that right knee and, and how you push off and how you're, you're putting pressure on that knee. I mean, you were able to do some things, weren't you, that have, have you feeling very confident about where your mechanics are as you get ready to get back to action? Yeah, I've probably thrown, I don't know, 10 to 12 bullpens now. Um, They've been going great, and just uh, the, the stress and, and pressure off my knee um, with the mechanical adjustments that we've made, it's just been unbelievable. You know, I didn't think I could throw a baseball like that, and, you know, we'll just got to keep working toward the performance aspect of it. But right now, uh, I'm 100% pain-free and, and happy with uh, the way everything's going. So it becomes intriguing with play suspended, and we're obviously looking at a shortened season. and but let's face it, nobody knows right now when that season might start. But it seems kind of intriguing for you that all of a sudden, instead of missing a good portion of the season, you might be getting close to, correct me if I'm wrong, coming back by the time, let's say the season started in, let's pick them up, July. All of a sudden, you could have a much bigger impact on the season than maybe it appeared back in March. Absolutely. And that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I want to be ready by the time the season starts back up, whenever that may be. Um, like you said, no one really knows, but, but as of right now, I'm just sticking on, sticking on my timeline and progressing, uh, each and every day, each and every week and, and trying to stick to it as best as I can. So when that second round of spring training comes around, I'm hoping to be, uh, integrated in a part of that to where I can at least help build my pitch count. But, the thing with coming yeah. back is it's it, from Tommy John, it's, you can't just hop into big league games. You have to prove that uh, obviously your, your stamina, your pitch count is built up. So you got to start off by playing inner squads and building your pitch count there and, and, and learning if your performance side of it is good, you can be pain free, but you still got to go out there yeah. and be the guy you were before. So that's just kind of the biggest thing right now is just trying to find innings somewhere. If my, timeline mm -hmm. reaches that point before everybody gets down here again and as you said the most important thing right now or at least three weeks from now is to be able to face some batters but truly there is no way to do that during this time of shelter in place or or it's you know physical distancing is there no not too much i might have uh some of the staff step in there you know we got doug teeter down here chris mcdonald kevin rand steve <laughs> chase uh <laughs> our PT Duncan Evans and, and Corey Trimble, those guys might have to wear a helmet and, and grab a bat and start hacking. <laughs> please, please record it, will you? <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you think. Uh, we haven't really heard a lot from uh, the player's perspective about some of the, I'm, I'm sure you're reading and talking to some of your teammates about some of the ideas being floated. And I, I think one of the more recent ones has been, uh, the idea of maybe everybody locating in two places, Florida and Arizona at the respective spring training sites. What are some of the things as, as you read about this and read about how we come back uh, and begin to reopen things? Um, what do you what do you think about what you're hearing and how uh, workable it is from a player's standpoint? Yeah, I think first and foremost, obviously everybody's safety is the number one priority, most important. Um, most important thing and you know with that being said you start to see states now starting to reopen and uh, i think the biggest thing for the baseball community and its fans is that there's so many people around the world uh, that come even just in organizations just come for baseball and part of the team so you have latin americans asians obviously mm -hmm. uh, united states americans and uh, it's just tough kind of trying to gather all those people again. So I think that we're not going to be moving much until a test comes out uh, that's mass produced that we can find out results in a matter of minutes or hours. I think that's their first step. Yeah. But 
like I said, it's the, the safety is the most important thing for, for fans, organizations, staff, and players ultimately. Well, we really look forward to the day that we do have spring training part two and that, uh, that you'll be a part of that. In the meantime, Michael, uh, stay safe, enjoy your time with your family, and look forward to seeing you in person in the not-too-distant future. Thanks, Dan. Great to see you. Great to see you. Take care.